Welcome to the next lecture of Switching Theory and Logic Design. In this class, we are going to discuss the bidirectional shift register. So, this is the continuation of a shift registers class. Right. So, coming to the bidirectional shift register, the name itself it is saying that the operation of the bidirectional shift register. Bidirectional means it will do the left shift operation and it will do the right shift operation. Okay, so both the directions we have to work here. So, a register capable of shifting in one direction is only called unidirectional shift register. Whenever the uh, shift register has shifting the data from left to right or right to left, any one operation, then it is called unidirectional shift register. Like left shift register and right shift register. Now, a single register that can shift in both direction is called bidirectional shift register. So, whenever the register is shifting the data from left to right and right to left, Left. Both directions are possible by only single register, then it is called bidirectional shift register. Next, the bidirectional shift register works with a mode control signal. Here we are taking a new signal called mode M. So the mode control signal is helps to uh, control the data. So whenever the mode signal is equal to 0, it working as a left shift register. Whenever the mode is equal to 1, it, it is acting as a shift right register. Now we will see that configuration. So our next concept is bidirectional shift register. Okay, right. Let us see, this is the circuit diagram for the bidirectional shift register. So when you are giving the data at the left side, that is a serial in shift left, here you are giving the data serial in and here you are taking, you are giving the input serial out. So this is the one configuration. So see here, you are giving the serial input data here and you are giving the serial input uh, right, right side data. So from right side you are giving the data, from left side you are giving the data. Right. So here m is equal to 0 combination, m is equal to 1 combination. When m is equal to 0, it, it acting as a left shift. When m is equal to 1, it acting as a right shift register. Okay. Right. Now let us see. Right. Here we have the mode control signal that is M we are represented with uh, here capital M. So this capital M signal I am connected to a NOT gate. So see here we have a NOT gate here. So here we are represented with two colors. One, one color is yellow color line and another one is red color line. So the M bar I am representing with a red color bar line and this yellow color line, line I am representing with M. So this is almost all seems to be like as a controlled shift register. This is almost all seems to be like as a controlled shift register or controlled buffer register. So the same concept we have taken here. The same and and target combination, and and target combination, and and target combination. And here I have taken four D flip flops. Now this is the four bit bidirectional shift register. Four bit bidirectional shift register. Now let us see. Coming to that, in the left shift register, what is the operation? The first flip flop output is connected to the second flip flop input. The second flip flop output is connected to the third flip flop input. The third flip flop output is connected to the fourth flip flop input. And you are collecting the data at the fourth flip, the fourth flip flop output. This is a, a, see a shift left register, shift left register. When you are giving the data at the left side, then it is called shift left register. When you are giving the data at the right side, that is called right shift register. Okay, whatever the things. Here you have, this is the one direction and coming to the another direction. So see here, you are giving the data at the last flip flop. So this is the fourth flip flop consider, this is the third and this is the two and this is the one. Now coming to the configuration, when you are giving the serial data in the right side for the first flip flop, that is the fourth flip flop, the output of the fourth flip flop should be connected to the second flip flop input. Okay, and the third flip flop output is connected to the, the third flip flop output is connected to the next second flip flop input. And the second flip flop output is connected to the first flip flop input, first flip flop input. This is the configuration here we have to concentrate. Okay. Like let us see. So these are the four flip flops. 
Now, see here, mode control signal is there. Mode control signal, this is the yellow color line, this is the one line. That is, the lower line is M, the upper line is M bar. That is, whenever M value is equal to 0, this upper line is going to work. So, whenever the M is equal to you are giving 1, then the lower line is going to 1. So, the, low, the upper line, if it is 0, the lower line is equal to 1. If the upper line is equal to 1, the lower line is equal to 0. So, whenever the mode is equal to 0, so whenever the mode is equal to 0, then this pink color indicates, this pink color, 5, 6, 7, 8 color indicates are going to work and the blue color indicates are not working. Why? Because whenever M is equal to 0, so M bar is equal to 0, M is equal to, like so whenever the mode control signal, okay, whenever the mode control signal is equal to 0, the M bar is equal to 1, M is equal to 0. So the M is connected to the blue color indicates and M bar is connected to the pink color indicates. So when M bar is equal to 1, this indicates pink color run gates are going to working condition and the blue color run gates are not in working condition so you have to remember this you have to remember this right now these indicates are in working condition so i said that this blue color is not working so whenever m is equal to 0 whenever m is equal to 0 the data the data is shifting from left to, uh, uh, whenever m is equal to 0 the data is shifting from right to left so whenever the data is uh, shifting from right to left, that is called shift to left register. So very simple thing, remember when the data is uh, in this direction, that is called left shift register. Whenever the data is shifting in this direction from left to right, that is called right shift register. Now there is a first combination m is equal to 0. When m is equal to 0, it, it acting as a left shift register. The data is shifting from right to left the data is shifting from right to left okay right so here the blue color and gates are in not working condition okay this pink color gates are going to working condition that means here uh, the pink color gates so the for last flip flop pink color gate one input is equal to where connecting mode signal that is equal to one right so one of the input from the pink color and gates is one so another input is equal to here serial right data we are giving here the serial right data you are giving at the first and gate if it is zero the and gate output is equal to zero if it is equal to one the output is equal to one why because if any one of the input of the and gate is equal to zero output is zero if both inputs of the and gate is equal to one the output is equal to one here one input is already one so the second input is deciding the output right so the data is entered in this way the data is entered in this way the data is entered into the first flip flop in this way so the data is entered in this flip flop now this output line this output line is connected to the second flip flop second flip flop that is a pink color and get the seventh and get the seventh and get one input is equal to one and the uh, the q output is connected to the seventh and get so now this seventh and get output is nothing as the output of this flip flop this is again connected to this uh, third flip flop of input like in this way the third flip flop output is connected to the next uh, uh, second flip flop input and the second flip flop input uh, is uh, directly connected to this uh, R gate output and this output is connected to the first flip flop uh, pink color and gate is, is 5 and this output is followed to in this way that is the final output you are collecting here so this is a Q first flip flop, second flip flop, third flip flop and fourth flip flop. So once again I am saying that when M is equal to 0, when M is equal to 0, pink color and gates are going to work. Okay, at this time you are giving the input at the fourth flip flop input. You are giving the fourth flip flop input as the serial in data and you are collecting the output from, from the first flip flop output. Okay, so it is very simple thing. You are giving the serial data at the fourth flip flop input. You are collecting the data, serial output data at the first flip flop output. So serial in, serial out. That is from right to left the data is moving. So for that reason this is called left shift register.
Okay, so this is a mode control value is equal to zero. If mode control value is equal to one, now it is equal to one. So this red color line is equal to zero, and this uh, yellow color line is going to one. So when M is equal to one, this blue color AND gates are going to working condition, and this uh, pink color gates are not in working condition. Okay, right. So see the, for the first flip flop, this AND gate is working. That is. There is a chance to give the data at the serial in left side. Serial in left side, you can give that data. So now the data is entered in this uh, terminal. Okay. So the data input you are giving at the first flip flop uh, input. So the data you are giving first flip flop input. Okay. Right. Now this output, the first flip flop output is connected to the second flip flop blue color end gate. Again, the blue color end gate is in working condition. So the yeah, this input is. Is going to connect it to this OR gate. This OR gate output is connected to again to this uh, second flip flop input. Uh, in the same way, the second flip flop output is connected to the third flip flop input. The third flip flop output is connected to the fourth flip flop input, and you have to connect the data at the fourth flip flop output. This is the fourth flip flop output, right? It is very simple. Here the data is we are shifting from left to right. When the data is moving the right side direction, this is called right, shift right register. Shift right register. So m is equal to zero, m is equal to one combination. So m is equal to zero. It is it is acting as a left shift register. When m is equal to one, it is acting as a right shift register. So this is about the bidirectional shift register. So it is very simple thing. We have two directions: left to right. Right to uh, left. So when it is uh, shifting towards right uh, side, that is called shift right register. When it is moving to the left side, that is called a left shift register. If mode is equal to zero, it is working as a left shift register. When mode is equal to one, it is acting as a shift right register. Okay, everyone, first note down this diagram. Okay, so pause this video for two minutes and take the picture. Then switch up this one. Okay.